Hi, this is Tanya from Lovely Greens, and recently I had to move my bees from Onken back to Laxi, and this video is going to show you how I did it. Now, a little background on why I had to move the bees in the first place. They were in a great location forage-wise. It was a lovely field near a stream, plenty of trees and back gardens for them to forage in. Unfortunately, you could see the hive from the road though. And last summer, I also discovered drinks cans around the hive, which made me a little bit worried. Now, the first step in moving your bees is visiting the colony 24 to 48 hours in advance. And you're going to have to put on a clearing board that includes bee escapes. Now, what this does is it makes sure that the bees will go down into the brood box, which is the main compartment of your hive, leaving the other areas free of bees it'll be much easier to move your colony if they're all in one location. The way that a bee escape works is that the bees go in through the hole, they go through the wires, and they can't get back through. After 24 to 48 hours have passed after you put the clearing board on, you're going to have to visit your bees early in the morning or late in the evening to do the move. The reason you wait for these times is that the bees will all be inside, so you won't miss anyone when you move them to their new home. As you approach your hive, look out for any bees. If you see any flying around, then you're either too early or too late, and you're going to have to come back at a different time. You don't want to lose your bees in this move. Now, if you don't see any bees at all, go ahead and cover up the entrance as your first step. Fit a cloth inside the entrance and then tape it really well. The cloth needs to be non-sticky and it shouldn't have a texture that will allow the bee's legs to get caught in it. Once the entrance is completely secured, you're going to have to secure the rest of the brood box. You don't want any of those pieces jogging loose and bees escaping in the move. So using a staple gun, which is probably the best way to go about it, staple the clearing board, which is also called a crown board, to the brood box. You also want to staple the floor to the brood box as well. Those bee escapes on the top, tape them down so they can't come loose. Once your brood box is securely taped and stapled together, you can gently pick it up and move it to your vehicle. I recommend you keep your beekeeping suit on while you're doing this and during the move, just for peace of mind. Once you arrive, carry the brood box to its new stand. Next, bring the rest of the hive pieces and assemble it in place. Then you're going to remove the staples, you're going to take the clearing board out, and then you're going to give the beads a feed as well if they require it. It's early spring here, and my bees don't have very much honey in this colony, so I'm giving them a sugar paste fondant to eat. The last thing that you'll do is remove the cover from the entrance. Once you remove the cover from the entrance, the bees are going to start to come out and they're going to realize immediately that they're not in their same location. But don't worry, they're going to start looking at the sun and recalculating and reformatting their internal GPS systems. So they're going to know to come back to this new place in the future.